The Legend of Zelda fans may be in for a nice surprise this year, and here's why. History suggests that there is a large chance we are going to be getting some type of Zelda game this year that has yet to have been announced. It's been understood that Nintendo wants to put out Zelda on a nearly annual basis. If we go back to 2018, there was this article from Eurogamer written by Tom Phillips, and here they said, As I understand it, Nintendo is keen to have a Zelda game launch on Switch every year. And what we saw is Breath of the Wild in 2017. In 2018, we saw the release for Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. In 2019, we saw the release for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. There was also Cadence of Hyrule. In 2020, we saw the release for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And then in 2021, we saw the release for The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Now in 2022, this being the one exception, we did see a release for Majora's Mask on Nintendo Switch Online. That's debatably something that would even count. However, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was planned for 2022, but was delayed into relatively early 2023 in May. And so barring one year because of a major delay, we have seen consistent Zelda releases throughout the Switch era. And I think the main point here is not so much that they have to have some kind of Zelda game in each calendar year exactly, but to simply keep the Zelda series active. So fans are consistently engaged in talking about the series so it continues to grow. And when we look at the sales for Breath of the Wild eclipsing 30 plus million, or even the likes of Link's Awakening, a remake of a Game Boy game having sold well above 6 million, and of course with the recent Tears of the Kingdom in less than a calendar year having sold over 20 million, the series has reached new heights. So with all of this in mind, and considering that Tears of the Kingdom came out back in May of 2023 with no DLC planned, by the end of 2024 we're talking about a year and a half window, which is a little bit of a longer window than the typical calendar year we've waited for each Zelda release we've seen throughout the Switch era, I would say it's fairly likely that Zelda fans have something else to look forward to in 2024. Now, what might that be? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Welcome everyone, this is Andres Restart, and yes, I recognize that that's kind of a long intro, but I do think it sets up everything we're going to be discussing for this video here, which is basically a number of different types of Zelda announcements that we could possibly be seeing this year that I think have a legitimate chance to show up. Now of course, nothing is confirmed, we're simply talking about the things that make sense. With all the possibilities that will be brought up, maybe one or two of these actually happen in 2024. But before going forward, let me point out that we are aiming for a goal of 40,000 subscribers, so if you do enjoy my content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Some things we could see this year are maybe not even releases, but announcements that would excite the Zelda fanbase. For example, late last year we got confirmation that they are working on a live-action Zelda movie. Perhaps we could get a significant update on that project sometime this year. But also, we could maybe at least see an announcement for a future Zelda game that's coming out down the road. There have been many reports that have come out recently suggesting that Switch 2 is coming out now early next year, was internally delayed to next year, but that's still not that far off. And when we take a look at the history of Nintendo console launches, when there's not a new 3D Zelda available, what they do instead is some type of remake or remaster that showcases the hardware, and brings in that Zelda fanbase early on, within that first year or two. And considering that we're expecting this console to be something that's going to have DLSS and HDR and ray tracing and things of that nature, we could be in for a real looker here. Now, we just got Tears of the Kingdom, so it's not going to be a teaser for the next big Legend of Zelda game, at least not like a full-blown trailer to come out like a year later, but we could possibly see a Zelda remake. And what's interesting about this, there have been a few different interviews with Anuma where it seems like he might be alluding to this in some way. The most obvious one, because there are others and we've discussed them in the past, is this Game Informer interview where at the very end, Eiji Anuma was asked, I've heard about how sometimes questions about games can inspire them to be made, so I selfishly want to ask you about a modern Ocarina of Time remake, but I have a feeling I know the answer I'll get. And Anuma laughs, and responds, no comment. And some may say, well, he didn't say anything there. However, 
some context is needed because there was another recent interview around the same time where Anuma was asked about a dungeon maker for Zelda after what we got for Link's Awakening Remake and this idea was shot down. The point being that when there is something that isn't going to happen, Anuma is straight with us, but when there is something that could happen, well, he's leaving it up for interpretation. So maybe it's not Ocarina of Time, although like I said in the past there are a number of other things that I think suggest that. Some type of major significant Zelda remake that could showcase the hardware capabilities of Switch 2 we could possibly see announcement for this year. Now there's of course the possibility that we have to wait a little while longer before it's showcased, but it is something that I thought was worth mentioning. Moving on to projects that I think we could not only just see announced this year, but actually be coming out, I think we should first start with the long-rumored The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. Initially, Andy Robinson, the owner of Video Games Chronicle, one of the more known and reputable gaming news sites there are, had said on Twitter that these games are definitely coming to Switch. Now, eventually he deleted that tweet, but did say this. Update on this for everyone who's now flooding my mentions. Predicting dates is a fool's game I should never have used 100% in the original tweet. Zelda fans, sit tight. So here, he's not saying that it won't happen, but that we should simply wait, and he's not sure on when it's going to happen. And as he said here in the tweet, predicting dates is a fool's game. When it comes to predicting dates for just announcements in general that haven't been made yet, things are subject to change, they can be cancelled, they can be moved, it's tough to predict. But I do think we should be talking about it now, especially when we think about how the initial idea for Switch 2 was apparently to come out late this year, but since it's been delayed, if Nintendo is going to have a bit of this transition from Switch 1 to Switch 2, where there are still some games coming out for Switch 1 over time, you would think some of those games that would be coming out in 2025 might be pushed up into 2024 to make up for the fact that there isn't a new console with next generation games to play. And so I think that strengthens the idea that we're going to be seeing even more of these projects that Nintendo's been sitting on to wrap up Switch 1. So if Nintendo has truly been sitting on both Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD, 2024 seems like the best time for it to happen. Now conceivably, because Nintendo may want to have a smoother transition from Switch 1 to Switch 2, it could happen in 2025. But if Nintendo's going to be needing some releases to fill up this year, and we still need some type of Zelda game to come out this year, I think there is a solid chance we could be seeing these releases. However, when it comes to these games, what I think should be noted is that both of these games have already happened. Their original releases were back for GameCube and Nintendo Wii, but they've already gotten the HD remaster treatment on the Nintendo Wii U. Of course, because the Wii U was a console that didn't sell many, there is a large, large audience of Zelda fans who didn't have a Wii U, or simply are not using their Wii U anymore, that would like to see these games on the Nintendo Switch, where it's also portable. So there's definitely a demand, but these games have already been done. They are not brand new efforts. Nintendo has done them already. And I've personally been of the opinion that these games could be presented in a collection. Nintendo has done collections before. Many think that Nintendo would price each individually at $60, but when I think about the history of Nintendo releases, I have a hard time thinking of them making a remaster for a prior gen console and then releasing these remasters again on the next generation of that console with little to no changes, but actually likely being stripped down because the Switch isn't going to have the features that the Wii U had like Miiverse with the tingle bottles or the dual screen gameplay and just pricing them at 60 bucks with nothing new added to the experience. What makes the most sense to me is either A, these games are getting significant enhancements and so they're going to be repackaged individually so it's worth the $60 or they are going to be stripped down somewhat because the Switch doesn't have the same features as the Wii U but they will be packaged together and that's how Nintendo will remix the package so it seems like a worthwhile purchase. Of course, that is just my opinion. We don't even know if they're going to come out. They've simply been rumored by a number of different 
credible insiders and journalists over the years. What could conceivably get in the way of us seeing the releases of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess this year would maybe be some other type of Zelda project. We could, for example, see a spin-off title, and there are many possibilities. We recently heard that the team behind Prince of Persia The Lost Crown would love to make some sort of Zelda spin-off. And of course, there's also the Warriors series. We've already gotten two Warriors games based in the Zelda universe. Could there be a third? Some fans would like to see a Warriors game that takes place during the Imprisoning War that is spoken of throughout Tears of the Kingdom. I personally wouldn't want to see this. I'm tired of the Warriors games, but if it comes, it comes, and I know a lot of people would enjoy it. But I do think there is merit in this idea of considering a spin-off. We've gone spin-offs before, and I'm sure more are on the way. And what has me thinking that a spin-off is somewhat likely here is that the spin-offs in general are made outside of internal Nintendo development. They would be made by a third-party partner. And this is more believable because right now Nintendo is focusing most of their major efforts preparing for the next generation. If you notice, most of the games we've been getting right now are made outside of Nintendo. Princess Peach Showtime, for example, is apparently being made by Goodfield, which is not a Nintendo-owned studio, but simply a third party that works really well with Nintendo quite often. So perhaps there's another spin-off in the works. But I think what I would like to see most, and what might have the most sales potential outside of maybe that Zelda collection I mentioned earlier, is a brand new 2D Zelda game. Maybe it's a remake, but I could see a brand new Zelda title. I've discussed in the past how I feel the circumstances for 2024 are not too different from 2023, in the sense that we have insiders suggesting that there aren't going to be any more major releases for this year, just like many suggested that after the release for Tears of the Kingdom, and yet there is still something else special that came out for the holidays. We got Mario Wonder last year, and I'm thinking maybe we get something like that this year, except instead of it being a 2D Mario game that we've been waiting an extremely long time for, it might be a 2D Zelda game we might be waiting an extremely long time for. Many thought that 2D Mario was dead. And yet, Mario Wonder was in the works, and here it is. We have it now, and we've loved it. I could see something similar happening for Zelda. Now, because there hasn't been any new 2D Zeldas in a very long time, many would doubt that we would get one, even despite the existence of Mario Wonder. But if we go back to this Game Informer interview with the Zelda series producer Eiji Anuma, he said some interesting things about the possible future for 2D Zelda. Yes, there is definitely a possibility. There are definitely good things about the 2D world and the playstyles of the 2D world. There are a lot of fans who enjoy that style. This Nintendo Switch style, which is the Evolve style of gameplay, is not necessarily. I want you to think of it more as an Evolve style of 2D style. For the 3DS team, I'm trying to make them think in a more evolved 2D style approach. Some people think that the 2D Zelda team no longer exists, and while there definitely may have been talent that has moved around, from what we've heard of Anuma, there was never an intent to completely phase out the 2D Zelda team. Here's this other part of the interview where he says, The 3DS team and the Wii U team have different approaches to game development, so I don't necessarily want to combine them and have them think together, but rather have each think about what they can bring to the Nintendo Switch from their own perspective. Now this is an old interview, so Anuma's perspective may have shifted. But regardless, I think the point still stands when we consider that Anuma still had a strong interest in new, evolved 2D playstyles. And all we've gotten since for the 2D Zelda formula is Link's Awakening Remake, which is a remake which didn't really have much new to it. So I still think that 2D Zelda is coming. And when we think about how a 2D game makes a lot of sense for the Nintendo Switch, it's the kind of game that you would play and enjoy this year, and you wouldn't think, man, I really wish I got to play this on a console that could run games at 4K 60fps with HDR and ray tracing and have a massive seamless open world. You don't need as much hardware oomph to run a 2D game. We've yet to see a ground up new 2D Zelda game made for Switch. They could already do some incredible things on the Switch for Tears of the Kingdom and Open World 3D Zelda, they can surely do some amazing magnificence things for 2D Zelda as well. So I think there's tons of potential here. 
And this 2D Zelda might be one of the biggest releases for Nintendo's holiday 2024. Of course, if we don't see it this year, I don't think that means it's not happening. I just think it means it's a few more years down the road, but certainly Nintendo is working on it, in my opinion. But what do you all think? What do you make of these different possibilities for 2024? Are you also thinking that us Zelda fans are in for a nice surprise this year? Let me know in the comments below. This is Andres Restart. Thank you so much for listening and watching, and I'll see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.